giraffes are absolutely incredible creatures. They're about as likely as a unicorn. All of the science on giraffe behavior was done sort of in the 60s and 70s. So I sort of started to question, well, hang on a minute, maybe there's something more going on here than we really realize. And the more I did research, the more I realized that we don't know anything about giraffes. Yeah, sure, in 1960, we did know everything there was to know about giraffes, but techniques and science changes so rapidly that, you know, it's all very well to say, oh, but we know everything there is to know. Well, that's 50 years ago. What are you looking at, Safari? What are you looking at? That's really amazing. I can't see them with my eye now at all, and yet here they all are. We just don't know what giraffes do at night. However, with the thermal imaging cameras, it's clear as day, and you can see exactly what they're doing. So yeah, it's really exciting. Emerging from all of this research, not just ours, but across the continent, and actually not only with giraffes, but with so many other species as well, is a kind of erosion of human exceptionalism. What we're finding is that the other species with whom we share this planet are much more complicated, much more complex than we've ever given them credit for. The giraffe, I think, is just such an amazing creature. If you went to another planet and you tried to describe a giraffe to somebody else, it would just, it would just sound like the most absurd creature you could ever imagine. But they're there, they're beautiful, they're a product of evolutionary history, they're at the end of their evolutionary tree. So if we lose giraffes, we've lost that whole branch of biodiversity. And yet, they're not everywhere in the wild. Their populations are disappearing, and unless urgent conservation action is taken, we are going to get to a situation where they may not be there anymore. The individuals in a group will coordinate their behavior, behavior will change as if somebody's given a signal, and you can, you can literally see animals changing their behavior in a coordinated fashion, but yet you've heard nothing. So there's definitely communication going on. How it's happening, we don't know. And the obvious candidate is infrasound, low frequency communication that's below our range of hearing, but which perhaps the giraffes can detect. He's changed his behavior. So whether it was coincidence or not, when the speaker was vibrating, he did lift his head out of that bush and look around. Now, if we can prove all of those things, then it will open up a whole field of research, as is the case with elephants, and would be fascinating and, uh, and wonderful. But there are a lot of ifs along the way.